Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video, I will explain and solve the challenge that was in uh, meal time in problem set one. And the challenge was to also support uh, time uh, in 12 hour format, like uh, here. So the user specifies AM or PM. So uh, we will do some modifications to our uh, main program. Okay, but uh, let's get back to the example that we had here. So now this uh, line will not work as intended because uh, the minutes or this part, this whole part will be assigned to minutes and this uh, will kind of mess up our program. So what we need first is to separate this part and this part. And we will also use the split method. So let's uh, make a new variable. Let's call it hours, minutes, and another variable called pm, am. And these are going to be equal to time dot split, and we will split according to the space. So now we have a variable hour minutes which holds the time and another variable called the PM AM and it will uh, store uh, the value that will be here whether it's AM or PM. So after that we will uh, again split this part which is the variable hours minutes into hours and minutes as we did before. Uh, this time uh, we have to change this, so this will be hours, minutes, and uh, yeah, by the way, these two lines will be the same, so no changes will be done here. Uh, what we need to do now is to uh, uh, see if the user inputs AM or PM, because if it's PM, uh, we will need to add 12 to the hours. So let's make an if condition for this. So if pm am is equal to pm, uh, actually it's uh, in this format. So there is a dot between the letters. So if that's the case, let's add uh, 12 to the hours. And I think uh, this is pretty much it, but let's uh, put that in test. Uh, let's uh, first try uh, 7 uh, a.m. This should output the uh, request time. So yeah, that's uh, still working. Let's try a time. Uh, like 1 p.m. and this should output uh, lunch time so yeah as you can see it's uh, working but uh, there is also uh, uh, an issue here because if we type 12 30 p.m. for example it will not print anything because now uh, the 12 uh, the hours will be 12 plus uh, the extra 12 here, so it will be 24.30 and that really doesn't make sense. So we need to add another condition here and uh, uh, we have to make sure that the hours are not 12. So hours not equal to uh, 12. I had to uh, force it to be an integer because by default uh, this will return a string for the hours. So let's try again the same time. And now it's printing out lunch time, so that's correct. Let's also see if uh, dinner time will uh, work fine. So that will be from 6 p.m. to 
7 p.m. Let's try 6 p.m. That's dinner time, so that's also correct. But uh, what we did here is uh, we modified our program to only work uh, if the user uh, provide this format. So for example, if we go back to uh, the examples from the last uh, video or before uh, editing this uh, function, for example, let's try 13, 0, 0. This should uh, output breakfast, uh, no, uh, sorry, this should output lunch time. But now we will get an error because we assumed that the user will always provide uh, the, the time in 12 hour format. So we need to fix that. We, we, we want to make this optional. So what we can do is uh, first check if there is AM or PM in the time that the user uh, provided. So let's make an if condition here and check if a m is in uh, time, which is the variable that holds the user's input, or uh, pm. We will do the following. Uh, let's also indent this part and we will leave this as it is so uh, yeah we need to make an else because otherwise uh, we want to go back to our normal uh, our normal way uh, just like the last uh, video so yeah we will do the same as we did before so hours minutes and this time it will be time dot split and colon because if the user uh, doesn't type pm or am if the time doesn't have this uh, uh, is not in this format then it is like this so we can easily uh, split our time uh, without making an, a step like this one here and I think that's it, but let's try again. Let's try the same example, which is 13, 0, 0. And now it's uh, working for both time formats. Uh, before ending, let's also try uh, the 12 hour format just to make sure we haven't uh, missed anything. So let's try 1 p.m. And it's still working. So yeah. That was the challenge and that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.